Welcome back, my Don and Donets. Darren from TFD. Yeah, I've been missing. Been watching a video on landscape of fragrance reviewing by Justin Copeland yesterday. And you know, everyone's questioning the way it's going. It's got a bubble, it's gonna burst. You know, I've been doing videos and some get good views, some don't. And I've stuck at 475, not got to the 500. I know it's a marathon, I know it's not, a, it's, it's a marathon, not a sprint. But yeah, you know, you just start reflecting and think, hmm, do people really like this anymore? Is it really worth doing it? I've got the passion for fragrances, which I'll always have anyway. So yeah, you know, just been a bit like that. Leave comments below. I'm gonna start doing some lives as well. Maybe get some more interaction. I've been more on TikTok actually. So yeah, just been doing there every day. Anyway. Today I've got a nice clone from the house of Armagh. Now you know I've had uh, the other Armagh fragrances, uh, um, the Creed Aventus clone, uh, the Creed Irish Tweed clone, yeah so many. But today we've got Radical Brown. I'll try and do some close-up videos after. Um, this is the box. Yeah, they do nice uh, presentations, you know, I must say. And this is the bottle. Really nice. Uh, someone said on TikTok, it looks like a bottle of drink, <laughs> whiskey or something. <laughs> it does actually. But yeah, it's a really nice bottle. Yeah, nice caps. Got our mark written on the logo. And then you've got your uh, information at the bottom. Patch codes and all of that. Spray that quite a short distribution. Um, so, yeah, our mouth is a clone house. Most of their fragrances are clones, some are probably original. Um, so, this is a clone for Parfums de Mardi Heron, which I reviewed before, which I really love, but just doesn't have the performance. I'm thinking of selling it actually, to be honest. I don't really wear it, it's a shame, but I, just, I do really love it anyway. Armarth Radical Brown. Let's give it some sprays. Yeah, nice tobacco, cinnamon. I get that straight away. And as soon as you spray it, you get that Herod sort of smell. So we've got Herod hair as well. So obviously we're gonna have to do a side by side. Let's give that another one. Now Herod has just got that more luxurious tobacco cherry vibe and um, Radical Brown's got that more cinnamon kind of peppery sort of tobacco. Yeah Herod smells much better. Well it's not bad though. It's, it's not bad at all. Really it's quite close. Uh, after the dry down, I think the opening is more closer, but after the dry down, yeah, you can smell it's not Herod, but it's very close. So I must say it's a nice clone, definitely. And the bottle is really nice. Look at the side there. It's got some kind of leather kind of looking crocodile skin. Like, really nice presentation. Uh, so the notes are tobacco, cinnamon. I'll put them up. Pepper amongst the other uh, amongst other um, notes. Have a little look. Also, now I'm going to put up the notes of Herod. So let's see a side by side comparison. Um, the notes of Herod. There is a lot more than there is in Radical Brown. But it's a nice, yeah. It's a nice clone. Uh, gave it one wearing already and performance like hour two hours you could still smell it but three four hours it kind of dissipated or disappeared after a while it became more of a skin scent so it's kind of performs like Herod to be honest um, but it's just way third of the price I uh, paid for this on eBay 20 pounds 30 pence on Armagh site, it's at the same price, £20.99. pence. But on Armagh site, I'll put it up. They don't put any notes, they don't put what's in it or anything. It's just a list of fragrances. 
Um, so yeah, would I suggest to get it? I mean, yeah, if you want a clone of Herod, then yeah, why not? Uh, it does smell like it, it's very similar, but it's not. So I'm saying, Herod's just gone already, man. It's so disappointing. Herod, this costs 209 pounds, like, it's just such a shame. It's such a beautiful fragrance. It's like one of my top 10 of all times. But performance is terrible. So yeah, lacks performance. This performs a bit better, but similarly to Herod, it's not great, fantastic performer. But for the price, it's not bad. You can't really go wrong. Yeah, for the price, it's not bad. 20 pounds. I'm sure that will last you long enough. You want a small like Herod on a budget? Then yeah, I would suggest go for this. Armagh Radical Brown. It's other pop, older perfume concentration. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, it's very nice, but Herod has got that more luxurious smell. Well, it should for the price. Okay, yeah, it's still there. Gotta give it a good sniff. But yeah, so if you want Herod, but on a budget, then yeah, I would go for this Radical Brown um, R by Armath clone of Herod. Nice presentation, nice packaging, which I'll probably throw now. But um, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a few more wearings. But on my initial first wearing, it didn't last. You know, it's probably four or five hours, maybe minimum. And after that, I couldn't really smell it. Um, so yes, a bit better than Herod. Herod after like two hours is, yeah, that's gone. But anyway, so yeah, check it out. Armoth, Radical Brown, nice clone. Came out in 2019. If you wanna get that and you don't wanna spend the money on Herod because it lacks the performance, like a lot of people say, um, then yeah, I'd say go for that, definitely. Anyway, tune in for the next video. Gonna do another one and keep in touch. Email, I'm on Instagram, have a look on there. Also look at me on TikTok, the fragrance done. I'm on there every day. And yeah, TikTok's all right. I don't do any dancing and all of that stuff. I just do <laughs> fragrances. But yeah, it's a nice little community on there and a lot of people get in touch and messages and share stuff and ask questions. So yeah, and I've been doing more shorts from the TikTok and I've been putting them on the YouTube. So it's making the uploads go up a bit more. But um, yeah, the viewers, the subs are still down a bit. But you know what? It's all good. I did say in many videos ago, I'm not really here for all of that, but you still wanna sort of progress. <laughs> anyway, I'm waffling on. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe and share, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care, bye.